Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. George Poindexter arrived in the Mississippi Territory in 1802 and almost immediately became a leader in the Democratic Republican Party. Thomas Jefferson appointed him Attorney General of the Territory and in 1804 he was elected a member of the Territorial House of Representatives. His outspoken criticism of the Federalist Party led to a duel with wealthy merchant and planter Abijah Hunt, the first of many controversies in which Poindexter found himself involved. He killed Hunt in the duel, with many claiming that Poindexter had fired at Hunt prematurely. Undaunted, Poindexter entered politics successfully. In 1807, he conducted the prosecution of Aaron Burr for treason, and from that year till 1813, served in the U.S. House of Representatives, representing the Mississippi Territory. Poindexter was elected governor of the state in 1819 by a wide margin, and in 1830 was appointed to the U.S. Senate. Although he originally supported Andrew Jackson, he became less happy with the president's policies and an outspoken critic. In 1834, Poindexter hired Richard Lawrence to paint his house in Washington, D.C., Lawrence became deranged and came to believe he was the ruler of England and that Andrew Jackson was trying to take away his throne. He fired two pistols at the President Jackson, the first attempt to assassinate a U.S. president. Jackson accused various political enemies, including Poindexter, of supporting Lawrence. Poindexter denied any connection with Lawrence except that he had hired the man to paint his house. Poindexter also criticized Martin Van Buren's support of Jackson and made explicit threats against the vice president that caused Van Buren to carry pistols for his self-defense when presiding over the Senate. These controversies followed Poindexter back to Mississippi, and he did not win re-election. George Poindexter died in September 1853 and is buried in Greenwood Cemetery in Jackson, Mississippi. My name is Kirby Swafford, and that has been a Natchez History Minute.